John Arnold here for Covers.com. Looking ahead to some World Cup qualification action in the CONCACAF region, the United States hosts El Salvador from what should be a frigid Lower.com field in Columbus, Ohio, ESPN2 with the broadcast in the United States. It gets going Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This, of course, is the second time that the teams have met in the final round of World Cup qualification. They opened qualifying against each other with a scoreless draw down in El Salvador. That was a boisterous crowd, a real joy, as fans returned to the stadium in San Salvador and faced a big opponent, and the teams couldn't make the Nets move, neither team able to really mount much of an attack. I'm less concerned about that for the United States this time around. You look at the emergence of forward Ricardo Pepe, and also players like Christian Pulisic, although he rested this weekend, and Tim Weah finally getting up to speed in their European clubs. They've also shown well when they've come back across the Atlantic to play. I think that when you look at the US, the scoring difficulties that were exposed in Central America the first time around, maybe are not as much of a worry as they were last time around. The defense also looks strong, although John Books didn't get called in. I think Walker Zimmerman and Miles Robinson form a, a very good and solid core. For El Salvador, that to me is the question, is can anyone beat that core? Can anyone cause problems for the United States defense? They're without Josh Perez, who is dealing with documentation problems in Italy as he looks to become a citizen in a European country. He's not in this group. A player that is is Jairo Enriquez, top scorer for El Salvador in the final round of World Qualification, but that's not saying that much. He only has two goals. Still, it's been a breakout campaign for the winger, and I think he's gonna be the danger man for El Salvador. I'm still not sure that El Salvador will be able to break through. When you look at the odds, the United States is a heavy favorite, and I think it's easy to see why they're finding their rhythm, their favorites to go to Qatar, and their big favorites to win this game. Looking at the clean sheet, there may be a bit of value there. US minus 180 to keep a clean sheet. It's possible that they're able to do that, especially with the weather conditions, how good the defense has been in the last several games, and the fact that El Salvador may not pack as much of a punch as manager Hugo Perez would like. That could be something that could give you a little bit there, but I do expect the United States to be able to take care of business at home.